Hi, everyone. My name is Mary Thingval, and as Jason said, I'm taking you to the land of avocados, or in other words, we're talking about developer relations. So if you're familiar with the terms uh, community management, developer advocacy, they all kind of fall under the same umbrella as developer relations. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what it is and why you should care about it. Um, first of all, it's built on the foundation of open source community management, and I know all of you here are passionate about open source, and I'm sure we have some community managers. Yes, there we go. All right, all right. So it's, it's built on that foundation, and it contains a lot of different roles. Some of them are up on the screen. So developer advocate, community manager, developer evangelist, and there's a lot of nuance in each of these, right? So I'm going to explain a little bit about what each means so you have a better understanding. Developer advocate, first of all, is the technical component of the team. So they're typically the person who has a developer background, a CS degree, code school degree, something along those lines. They do a lot of live coding, a lot of demos, a lot of technical deep dives with documentation, helping their community members understand the technology. Then you've got technical community managers who may or may not have a developer background, but they're definitely tech savvy. They're really good at sussing out what the problems are that people need to have solved, how to communicate that back internally to their company and their coworkers so that they better understand the problems. There's also what I like to call a technical ambassador, or some people call it a developer evangelist, who helps people understand how that product fits within the greater landscape of the overall tech industry. And all of these roles and a couple of others that some other teams include help push forward one goal of enabling our technical audience to be the best that they can possibly be at their job. And this is a hugely important role because it connects the community with the company and it helps people better influence the decisions that we're making internally. And with the right manager who has a business value of developer relations and understands that value that we can contribute, we're able to really provide that value back to our community members. This is where the mantra of developer relations that I use all the time comes into play. So to the community, I represent the company. To the company, I represent the community. And I have the best interests of both in mind at all times. And it's a difficult balance to keep because you're constantly going back between the community and the company and making sure that you understand both sides. But when we do understand both values, we can provide relevant content to our community members and we can also provide valuable feedback internally to the company to help the community better do their jobs. The important thing about this is that we understand that when the community succeeds, the company succeeds. But when the company sets the community up for failure, especially when it's an open source product that needs that contribution from the community, there's no coming back from that mistake. So we're kind of the liaisons, the jugglers, the teachers, the journalists. We're the connecting bits between these two. And we understand the, the landscape of both the community that we're following as well as the company that we're working with. So we can make these introductions community member to community member or community member to coworker to provide value on both sides of the spectrum. And these connections are something that I call DevRel qualified leads. Are you familiar with the term marketing qualified leads? There's a few marketers that are nodding, okay. So it's this idea of understanding that I might not be able to influence this particular community member to become a customer or guarantee that the hiring manager is really going to appreciate the particular hire that I pass along or even that the really excellent community member who's awesome at the forums is going to be able to translate that into a blog post. But I've made those connections and I know that the value that those connections can provide because it can provide value, again, both to the community and to the company. So, developer avocado, if you've heard of it, there's a bit of an analogy here to help you understand this. And this all started when I was back at SparkPost about three years ago, helping out with their DevRel team. We had one of our project managers that had a hard time pronouncing developer advocate, and it would often come out developer avocado. And we as a team decided we loved the title, and we ran with it, and we came up with an analogy around it. Because you see, avocados are the good kind of fat and used in the right ways, at the right times, and the right combination of items, we can provide a benefit to both the community and the company. We also take on the flavor of things around us. So there's a lot of shifting goals, maybe shifting departments, but we're fluid in those goals depending on the needs of the company. We also go well with a lot of different cuisines, right? And like the best types of chefs who are constantly experimenting with ingredients and trying to come up with the right combinations, we're pulling different levers to make sure that we have the right combination of items for our communities. Avocados also take a long time to ripen, and DevRel is a long game. It's not a short, quick fix, but with the right investment and nurturing, we can make a lot of good. And lastly, avocados are good for your heart, and just like a healthy product and a healthy community is good for the heart of the company. 
So again, my name is Mary Thingval. If you want to hear more about this, I have a full-length talk tomorrow at 4.30. You should all come. It's going to be fun. Uh, I also talk about this stuff for a living. I'm the founder of Persea Consulting. My goal is to provide resources for developer relations and community professionals. Some of those resources are on the screen behind me. And I'd be happy to chat more with all of you if you're interested. Thanks. Have a great night.